All right, first off, Brock Thayahawa, Brock Thayahawa Shai, Brock Thayahawa, Brock Thayahawa Shai, Brock Thayahawa, Brock Thayahawa Shai. Double honors and salutations to the apostles of Great Millstone. And Barack, I thought to you brothers out there reading it, that teaching this truth in truth and sincerity, man. Teaching this word and knowledge in truth and sincerity, man. And salutations to the elect out there, the uh, the house of David, man. You know, and the, and the saints out there, man, that's teaching this word, man. You know, in truth and sincerity, man. You know. And um, this is going to be real quick. But, you know, you have a lot of um, people out there. Mainly the ones that send to this is uh, so-called Christian doctrines. But you have some dudes amongst the truth that are so-called in the truth. You know what I'm saying? Um, that like certain camps, you know, like GLCC, you know what I'm saying? I'm a name one, you know, that have certain brothers that probably broke off of them that, you know, um, you know, they, they're starting to come to certain things. You know, in, in this word and um, certain things they still haven't got, you know, but um, basically one of the things I would say is um, the new Jerusalem coming down from the heavens. You know what I'm saying? And the reason I'm saying this is because I have um, certain brothers out here, you know, they broke off a uh, GLCC and, um, you know, basically. You know, they they have no understanding on the new Jerusalem coming down from the um, coming down from the heavens, man. Uh, who they think it's an actual uh, building, you know, coming down from the heavens. That's going to be the actual the kingdom of heaven. But, you know, just, to, um, you know, for edification's sake, you know, I'm going to just get this real quick. This is Revelations uh, chapter 21. Verse one, it says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And a new heaven and a new earth is talking about Esau's rulership when America gets destroyed by those IC, ICBM missiles, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the intercontinental ballistic missiles that's going to be shot from other countries over to the Americas and um, our holy, our holy land. Uh, Israel is going to be uh, destroyed too because it has to be cleansed because th that's what those missiles are for. They're for a cleansing agent, all right? Because there's going to be mass death and all that even before those missiles hit. But the real main ordeal of the Heavenly Father is to cl to cleanse everything that Esau has. Um, how can I say? E Esau has um, disrupted or uh, infected. You know, to cleanse everything that Esau has infected, the Most High made the Smith and the Waster, which are those ICBM, because fire is a cleansing agent. So those missiles are going to cleanse. First off, the, the, the earth, man, the wicked, the wickedness of the earth, for one, it's going to cleanse the heavens from those chemtrails that Esau has been spraying. You know what I'm saying? And it's also going to cleanse two thirds of our people. You know, the only the elect are going to be able to walk through the fire because they're going to be tried as gold in the fire. And everybody knows that gold gets purified in fire. You know, pure gold gets purified in fire. 100 percent gold gets purified in fire. So it says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now, when Yahweh Shai, the yeah, Yahweh Shai told the disciples what he said, "Go ye out there to the highways and byways and, and bid as many as you can." to the marriage all right now it was talking about people it was talking about israelite men because when you read um jeremiah 6 and 2 the most i tell you he likened israel into a calm and calmly and delicate woman so that's talking about israelite israelite men all right because 
it's going to go on. It says prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, because that's what we're doing right now. We're getting we're getting bitted. We're getting bitted to the marriage. Basically, we're coming back to being the most highest woman, you know, and just for edification's sake. Let me get this real quick, just just to show you what I'm talking about. You know, it's good. Scriptures say prove all things. This is a uh, Jeremiah chapter six verse two. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. All right. The Most High looks at Israel, Israel as his woman. All right. That's why when we go off and we worship other gods and stuff, you know, he gets mad and he, and he chastises us. So I'm going to read it over. It says, uh, Revelations 21 and 2, it says, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of her out, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned from her husband. It says, yeah, because the New Jerusalem, that's us brothers out here um, laboring, in, laboring in the word and the truth and dying. That's the elect coming down out of, out of the heavens from the Most High because... Yahweh Shai is going to beam us up. You know, the angels in Yahweh Shai, when he comes back, he's going to beam up the elect. And eventually we're going to have to come down from those chariots because in order to get away from that destruction, the chariots are going to take us into the heavens. That's why you read uh, Psalms 91. You know, we shall see a, a, a thousand falling on our right hand, a, a thousand on our left hand. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're going to actually see the, the see the destruction from the heavens, man. And then uh, the prophets explained it, explained it as, um, as um, uh, roughly paraphrasing. Um, oh, dang, I think fire in a sea of glass. If I'm not mistaken, it's there, Samakia. Like, yeah. But I know brothers know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But the New Jerusalem is talking about us, brothers, man. That that Lord willing, we are the elect coming down from those ships, you know, after the destruction of America. All right. And to 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 moreover prove that, because this is what Yahweh Shai said, man. Right, let me read on real quick a little bit more. It says, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and the most high him, himself. And God Himself shall be so like it. And God Himself shall be with them, and be their God, meaning their power. You know what I'm saying? So the Most High's tabernacle is with men. That's why you see only in the camps there's men. There's no mixture of women and men. You don't have a woman up there teaching. You don't have women in the background chanting a song because the Most High's tabernacle is with men. He's dealing with the men. There's an order. All right. It goes. It goes. The Most High, Yahweh Shai. Israelite men, then the Israelite woman. That's the that's the order that it goes in. Because the Israelite man is over the Israelite woman. Yahweh Shai is over the Israelite men. And Yahweh's over uh Yahweh Shai, man. This order in this thing. It says, And shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Now, that goes towards the elect of the nation of Israel. And mainly, all in all, when it gets to that point, the whole nation of Israel. But it starts with the elect. You know? And it says, And all that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are, fa are true and faithful. And he said unto me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the and, and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. And that's this knowledge. All right. It says he that overcometh shall inherit all things. And that's what we in this truth for to have a strong mind, mind state and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua to overcome all these things that are going to come upon the earth. And I will be his power and he shall be my son. And that's what First John, the third chapter, talks about. It is not known who are the sons of the Most High, but when he shall be revealed, we should be like unto him, for we shall see him as he is. 
but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake of in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Now that's talking about those missiles when they hit America. All right. It's going to look like a lake of fire. Which is the second death because the first death was what? The flood. And it's the second death. All right. Because the Lord said what? Because you got a lot of people out here. Oh, how do you know he's not going to flood the earth again? Well, he said he sets a bow up in the, uh, up in the sky. In the heavens, man, to let you know he was he's not going to uh, flood the earth again. All right. With water. It says, and there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the, la the seven last plagues. And talk with me saying, come hither. I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. All right. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from the most high. Now, I'm going to get the scriptures and the, and the precepts on that just to further show you that 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 holy Jerusalem descending out of the um, out of the um, heavens from the most high. It's talking about the men of Israel, the elect, the 144,000. It's not actually talking about a building. All right. Because this is what Yahweh Shai said man, just before I get the main scripture. This is um, Luke chapter uh, chapter what is it? Chapter seventeen, verse twenty. It says, "And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of the Most High should come, and demanded means question. All right, when you look it up. So when he was questioned of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of the Most High should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of the Most High cometh not with observation. All right." Observation means evidence or ocular or basically evidence, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, neither shall they say low here or low there. For behold, the kingdom of the most high is within you. So neither it's, it's, it's not going to be an actual um, building coming up out of the sky. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be an actual temple that comes out of the sky. That, oh, that's the king. That's the kingdom of heaven right there. It's not going to be that. And that's what Yahweh Shai was explaining. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to come with observation. You know what I'm saying? For the kingdom of heaven is within you. Now, just to back this scripture up, this is the main scripture I wanted to get. All right. This is um, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. It says, Ye also as lively stones. It's talking about the elect, all right? Lord willing, that says, brothers, are built up a spiritual house. All right, because Yahweh Shai, the reason, you know, this thing, this thing, at, when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, he died on the cross. He, he did away with the, um, the, the 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 carnality of sacrificing animals, All right? He did away with that. That's why when he died, and the, and the earthquake happened and stuff, the the temp, the temple the temple broke down. All right, because that that was symbolic for him doing away with that. That's that's no more intact. So we don't have to sacrifice uh, animals. All right, that's that's why that happened. You know what I'm saying? That's why it says. Ye also as lively stones, because us brothers in this truth were lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices. So that's what we do when we're out here on the um, highways and byways, man. Or when we first came into this truth and we sacrificed certain things. You know what I'm saying? We did spirit. We, we were given spiritual sacrifices, not tangible sacrifices no more. All right. Because this. Truth is not of carnality, it's of spirituality, man. All right. Most high made everything spiritual. It says, acceptable to Yahweh by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. It says, wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion, in Zion, to Zion monument, 
a chief cornerstone. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai. He is the chief cornerstone. All right. Elect precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, when we out there on the uh, street corners teaching, who has confounded us through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai? Nobody. To him who believes in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, that believes in Yahweh Shai. You know? It says, unto you, therefore, which believe unto us, brothers, that's out there teaching this word in truth and sincerity, you know, with 100 percent truth. All right. 100 percent understanding to be able to teach the people and give them an 100 percent understanding of, of how salvation shall come and of who they are and of certain other things that obtain the salvation. All right. He is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, meaning rejected, the same is made the head of the corner and a stone of a stumbling block and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient. And you have a lot of guys out here that's doing that. All right. I'm not going to name names because this is a lesson. All right. It's, I'm edifying the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. It says, whereunto. Also, they were appointed, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. All right. And the main point I wanted to get was the Lord called us lively stones because each of us brother brothers in this truth. Is a brick, you know, is 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 a brick to the temple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? And Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone of that temple. You know, he's the chief cornerstone, but we're the bricks. And that's what the um John the Revelator saw coming down from the heavens, the New Jerusalem. He's seen those lively stones, man. You know, which uh, which is us, brothers, Lord willing, we are the elect. He's seen us brothers coming down from the chariots, from the heavens. All right. Back down to the earth. You know. That's why the scripture says what it says, spiritual sacrifices, because we're not sacrificing under under the. Uh, we're not sacrificing. Under the. um under the, uh, uh, the the sacrifice of the animals anymore. All right. But with that, I'm going to say Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shine. Double honors and salutations to the apostles of Great Millstone. And Barakatai to you brothers out there teaching this word in truth and sincerity. And salutations to the house of David. You know, you, the elect out there that are the house of David and to the saints out there. And Salakia for that phone call. I record all my videos off off my phone and there's no <laughs> turn off to rock and you know but you know brothers know so hey shalom